solid flesh Special security protocols offline. Special security cell accessible.
not how we did it back in the Canyon of Titan. You're not Sister Strontium, if it's any business of yours. But what are you doing in the detention area? Only us Nucleus are allowed to be here. That's between me and them. Now answer my question. What are you doing here? No! I'm waiting for my trial so I can defend myself against these ridiculous charges. And turning in you outsiders will do wonders for my case. Guards! Guards! Over here there are strangers in the cell block! Came back. Thank you. Uh, but uh, who are you guys anyway? The Desert Rangers. Who are you? I'm a uh, Father Bezor of the Primordialists, and I'm kind of surprised to see unbelievers down here. Uh, you didn't fear my flock. Uh, uh, I mean, my congregation. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they'd come rescue me, so I hope they're still uh, alive. I mean, thank you for saving the Proteus, but I've got to get back there. Uh, did you kill Deuterium? The storage facility? Ah, so now we're at an impasse again. Neither of us can worship in the Chamber of the Holy Detonation. It's so stupid. If Deuterium would just listen to reason, we could all share its warmth together. The rift between the Primordialists and the Nucleists could be healed. We were all family once, and I believe we can be again. I don't know how. I, I just... I just keep hoping for a miracle that the Holy Detonation will provide. Anyway, if you're here to get me out, let's get started, because I need to get back.
Oh, what? <laughs> no, she didn't. She would never say anything like that. You must have uh, misunderstood her. Oh, there must have been. Sister Polyp is the best of us, the most truly devoted to oneness and sharing the glow. I love her. We all love her. Sheesh. When we get back to the camp, you'll see. <laughs> so silly. Oh, thank you. Uh, the console there opens the door. Just be careful which button you push. I got to look at the menu as they were throwing me in here, and there's a way to kill me without opening the cell. Also, an option to blast me with radiation. Uh, the radiation option is actually kind of tempting, <laughs> uh, but becoming one with the glow would be selfish right now when they need me back at the camp. Uh, so you better just let me out. As I pull myself together, I'll get back to the camp and see what I can do about this situation with Deuteria. Walk in the light of the Holy Ted Nation.
Hello, Rangers. Isn't this nice? The Primordialists have allowed me the use of this computer to investigate Cheyenne's systems and records. Lovely, isn't it? But listen, digging into the old logs here has given me an idea of how we can better ingratiate ourselves with the Primordialists. You see, when we first met, Brother Carbuncle talked about how frustrating it was that no one could know how the Holy Detonation's radiation would transform them. That made me wonder if these old research logs could help me find a way to predict this, even influence it. They haven't revealed an answer yet, but there are some promising leads, and I may have something before long. Uh, also, speaking of radiation, you seem to be a bit irradiated yourselves. I may be able to help you draw that radiation from your bodies. You're in luck. You see, while you've been helping the Proteus, I've been tinkering. You know those glowing radiation detection rods the Primordialists wear as talismans? It seems, over time, they draw radiation from the body. Well, I found a way to speed up the absorption rate, and used some to construct radiation batteries. They're quite handy. Set one to charge, and it'll draw radiation from the nearest source, which would be, uh, you. You'll feel immediate relief. I've made two already, and you can make more yourselves. All you need are some rods and a few bits and pieces. Here's a list and a diagram. They should keep you safe while you're here. Now, how go things? Wonderful news! The idea that these people's primitive superstitions might have stood in the way of Colorado Springs security would have been hard to stomach. Aside from their habit of drinking and bathing in irradiated water and worshipping a time-dilated nuclear explosion, they seem nice enough. But I wouldn't forget that they are fanatics just like the Nucleus. They will not see things with the clear-headed logic of scientifically trained thinkers such as ourselves. Good. So you're one step closer to building his containment device. Excellent. 
Did you make any other interesting discoveries on the security level? Horrible. It's very sad to see that even in the most peaceful of cults, envy and ambition lurk beneath the surface. At least you didn't take her up on her offer. I saw the Primordialists welcome Bezor back to the camp not five minutes ago. Was there anything else of interest down there? So I see. What a peculiar creature. Uh, when we have more time, I'd like to examine it more closely. Try to determine its genus and phalum. Was there anything else of interest down there? Hmm. I see. Oh well. Uh, Rangers, wait. I almost forgot. Until next time. Rangers, thanks a million for rescuing Father Bezor. It's so great to see him back at his old post. And nice to see Polyp sulking too, if I'm honest. Here's a little something for helping bring him back. Now, what's happening? Fantastic. Hold on to it until you got all three, then bring them all to me. Go with the flow, Rangers! <laughs> 